Well, the time has finally come. Uh, it took until uh, mid, almost the end of February uh, to get enough snow to really get the 4066 and the snow pusher out. And I will have to admit, it's actually really hard to leave the the X748 and the 1445 in the garage to do this. Um, I'm so used to operating those two machines to move snow. So this will be uh, be a bit of a bit of a different experience actually having to, to move snow. I think overall we got about four inches, but it there was practically uh, or there was very little wind with four inches. So it's a solid level four inches across most of the driveway. I mean you can see a little drifting in front in front of the tractor here. Um, but really not much at all in terms of uh, in terms of drifts and everything. Unfortunately, um, <laughs> it is you know almost midnight and I've got to be at, I've got to be up and be at work. Uh, this this is Thursday, February twenty second. Yeah, twenty second. Um, and uh, I got to be back at work in the morning at, at seven. So probably take an hour or so to do this and then, then head home or head inside and get ready to do it all again. So uh, now the tractor's warmed up a little bit, we'll uh, get everything set up. I'll get the grade box picked up, picked up. We'll get some lights on. Light everything up. Hopefully you can see that when I turn those lights on. Um, I do have a leak in the shop, so you can see the snow, or maybe you can see the snow right there. Um, so I'm actually going to pull up a little bit on the, the snow box, the snow pusher, and actually just push out the door. I do have the e-throttle on, so um, once I get out the door, I'm just going to push, put it in float, and it'll uh, float down here. I still haven't solved my problem of, of finding something that will, uh, you know, actually, um, you know, actually pick the snow up. So I'm just going to push up here a little bit, and you can see there's actually snow building up in the pusher. It's kind of nice to see. Got here this orange post and. I don't think I want to do anything else more with what comes straight out of the, the shop. What I'm doing is I'm backing in the shop to get another kind of push off to the side. Not rip out the door in the process. So I've just got the box and float right here. Um, I don't, I don't have the tractor in four-wheel drive at the moment. I will probably come back and get these piles here shortly. But now that I've made a little spot to work, I'm going to go ahead and get out and shut the garage door. Just rolled over 55 hours. All right, let me get it pointed up here, up towards the house. And we will uh, ooh, definitely need four-wheel drive. So it is now in four-wheel drive. I'm just gonna set this down and push some piles up here. But this will probably be a longer video, uh, mostly because I'm gonna tell you an interesting story. So I've never really talked much about my job on my channel. I don't, I don't, I don't intend to. But uh, my job requires that I work quite a bit. Um, so like I said, this is Thursday. Um, the last two days I've put in almost 28 hours, so two 14 hour days. And uh, like I said in earlier this video, um, I, uh, it'll, I'll probably do that many hours tomorrow. But what's really important is one of the reasons I bought this tractor was to move snow at this place, obviously. And we're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can get all three of these at the same time, the ones I just pushed up. This should be a lot of fun. Okay, I ran out of 
turning power. I'm gonna try again. So, anyway. Hey, this is pretty nice. Oh, we're gonna run on traction here in just a second. Now, I like this. So, back to my story. I'll go ahead and make another long push. Um, so, because I worked so long, the long hours, one of the reasons that I got this 4066 was for the hydrostatic uh, drive. Because my wife thought she would want a hydrostatic over a gear drive. Also, one of the reasons that I went with the 4 Series over a 5 Series. And so, tonight, I, I'm at work and I'm wrapping up stuff. And I get a text message from my wife. She wasn't sure if I was going to make it home because uh, of the snow. And because uh, we, we, we work about 25 minutes away from where we live. And it's mostly just solid country roads. And... Um, so anyway, she's like, I'm outside using the X748, and I do I need to put it in four-wheel drive? And um, I, I, so I called her, because I was actually getting ready to head home. And so I called her and, and told her, I was like, well, you know, you, you, I'll be home in a little bit, and I can use the 4066. And the reason she hasn't used the 4066 is because I we haven't had any snow for her to even really practice with it. Um, a couple weeks ago, she did. Um, a couple weeks ago, she did get out the and, and practice on just the dirt driveway. We're gonna see if I can push all these piles. I don't know if I can. I probably run out of traction. Um, no. Wow, this is impressive. Um, that's a lot of snow. My problem is I can't quite see where I'm going. So anyway, she uh, she's like, I've got the 4066, or I've got the X748 out, and I need to know if it needs to be in four-wheel drive or not. And um, that's pretty much full capacity for this unit right here. We will see what we end up when we come up here. I think I got off my mark a little bit. I know I did. Now that right there is a pile of snow. Oh Lord, I tore up the grass. Yep, it was off at an angle. So, anyway, let me fix this while I actually have a guide before I lose it. Um, so she was outside working with the X748 to move snow. And she's never really done that before. Not necessarily because, you know, she doesn't want to. I've just always been the tractor driver because I really enjoy doing it, obviously. And um, so I get home and she tells me that before she actually, um, before she started driving the X748 to move snow, she got on YouTube and looked at my videos. And that my videos were terrible because they didn't tell you what to do. So sometime in the near future, we I will be doing a video of how to move, move snow with an X748. And hopefully if anybody is ever in a situation like I was in, they will have something to show their significant other. So, kind of a cool little story there. Certainly, certainly hope that she... Oh, come on now. One thing I don't like is how about this snow box. I really like the box itself. It's got a, got a really good capacity. Oops. Um, it's got a really good capacity, but it really, really bosses this tractor around. I got 
uncouple my brakes. I think this is what I would describe as a full push. take a pause 10 seconds and take off my jacket and take off my gloves because it's hot in here and I need more air to defog the windows never thought I'd be in short sleeves and a tractor um, so, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head back the other way, where I've got a little bit less uh, snow. I think one of the hardest things for me is going to be recognizing how I can use this box with the skids and everything because I have a really hard time keeping the box level. pressure on the toe or the, the the front or the rear of the skids but actually keeping the, the skids level is really hard or at least I find it to be challenging Uh, in drifts and so it wasn't um, it, it wasn't that much it was just you know two foot drift here three foot drift there thing would do with the 
with a front mount uh, snow blower. I think that'd be really awesome. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, found something fun and useful.